Monument issue has divided many people across New Orleans. But those who live around the Jefferson Davis Monument say they agree on one thing. They are glad that it's over. Lauren Bale is also in Mid-City tonight, and she joins us now with that perspective. Lauren. You could feel residents breathe a sigh of relief this afternoon when they came out to see crews pack up the barricades and leave. Now, some of the neighbors I spoke to were in support of the monument staying. Others wanted the monuments to go, but it seemed like everyone is excited for the neighborhood to get back to normal. Why are y'all out here? No public funds. While monument supporters grieve the loss of the Jefferson Davis statue, there was one group excited to see the end of the ordeal residents who live in the area. The police, all of these barricades, not only that, but you're blocking off streets. You know, people having to get back and forth to where they need to go. As the final police officers cleared out, residents watched their neighborhood reopen. Just to watch a little bit of what's going on, I was excited to hear that it had come down last night and to see what it looked like this morning. Some neighbors found the process to be a waste of time. It was made into a big deal because it was brought to the forefront when there's other things that are more concerning in the city than a statue. Others say taking down the statue is an improvement to the neighborhood. It's a big deal and I'm glad it's happening. I think it's long overdue and I think ultimately like we'll look back and citizens will look back and feel like we are on the right side of history. Those who believe this is erasing history still stood by their camp today, even after the monument was gone. I would like for them to arrest me. Violate my rights. Come on. Planning what to do next. We've actually been having what we call monument watchers at all three monuments. And we're the, it's not just camped out. And it's not just protesting. I mean, what we've been doing is to observe and report. They aren't leaving. We'll be here until, you know, the last monument's down. But residents say they're glad everyone else has moved on. It's been ongoing now for just a little bit too long. Several monument supporters remained out here uh, until this afternoon. They've since packed up and gone home. The only thing left out here is this fence uh, that's around half of what used to be the Jefferson Davis Monument. No word on when that will come down. Now reporting live from Mid-City, Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News. Lauren.